He told his family he was going on a fishing trip. They never saw him again until now. The new face of ISIS propaganda, a 17-year-old Australian boy appearing in this video threatening President Obama and for the first time, Australia's Prime Minister, Tony Abbott. Behead the tyrants, he says, warning that ISIS will never stop fighting, not until it has conquered the West. Until we put the black flag on top of Buckingham Palace, until we put the black flag on top of the White House, we will not stop. He is believed to be Abdullah Almir, according to Australian media. With his red hair, he's known as the ginger jihadist. He reportedly disappeared in June with a friend, but he hadn't gone fishing. He boarded a plane from Sydney to Perth, then on to Malaysia, and then to Thailand. Their final stop, Turkey. He then crossed the border into northern Iraq, finding a new home, fighting under the black flag of ISIS. His family's home is in the western suburbs of Sydney, the very same place where last month police foiled a homegrown beheading plot and carried out the country's largest terror raids. These people, I regret to say, uh, do not hate us for what we do. They hate us for who we are and how we live. This new video raising more questions about how much Australia's involvement in the US-led war overseas is creating a new threat on their own soil. Amy Laporte, CNN, Atlanta.